Hello and welcome techies. This is a new session on SQL and today we are going to talk about order by. Order by is a very commonly used clause in SQL and today we are going to talk in depth about it. So there are several parts which is going to come for order by and this is a first session on order by. So let's get started. So in today's session we are going to talk about these topics. So what is order by and how SQL system stores the data? What is the significance of order? What is order by statement? And there are a few demo examples and at the end you get some assignment questions to try it on yourself. So what is order by? Order by is in general used to arrange the data in some meaningful way. Now when I talk about meaningful way, what is the meaning of it? It means we are trying to arrange the entire table in your SQL in either descending or ascending order based on some particular column. Means a particular column is either sorted in ascending order or descending order based on our requirement, based on our need and based on that need the entire table is being arranged. It is really, really very helpful. But before we think about what is order by, first of all, let us understand how SQL stores the data because this will help us to understand or answer the question why order by is required. So what happens is by default, the data which is stored in the table is stored in the same order as they are inserted means if I am try if I'm creating a table and trying to insert some rows into that by using an insert statement the result which you will see will exactly be the same order as they were inserted let me show you with a small example let's say for example I'm creating a small table called as table demo right create table table demo which contains all these columns customer ID customer name gender product category product name and price now let me execute this query right and let me look at the data how they how do they appear now since I have just created the table and I have not inserted any value in it so I am getting no rows now let me insert the value in the table demo but the important thing for us here to note is that you see I am inserting the first the first column is a customer ID which is 10 followed by the next customer ID which is 25 then it is 11 then it is 5 and then it is 2 which is not in any specific order right so when I insert so what am I doing here the first row I am inserting then the second row then the third row, fourth row, fifth row. So when the data is getting inserted into SQL, the SQL will not organize the data in any fashion. What it does simply is it will store the data the way you are inserting in the same order. Means if I query the table after inserting these values, you will notice the data are in the same order. Let me, insert, let me execute this query and show it to you. So my table has been created. My data has been inserted and let me exactly quickly uh, query the table so you will see the first row which the way I have inserted exactly I'm getting the first row second one is 25 exactly I'm getting the second row third customer ID is 11 I'm getting the third row fourth one is 5 5 and 2 so it is very important for you to understand that whenever you are storing any data in your table whenever you are storing or loading any data into your table SQL will retain the order in which they are being inserted. So whenever, whenever you are querying your table, the rows are returned in the same order they, as they were inserted in the table. Now, why, why is it important for us to order the data or sort the data, the significance of ordering? Now, it has great advantages and it is really, really very helpful. First point I would like to bring here is repetitive data values can easily be visualized. What is the meaning of it? Now, if you look at this particular data set, a small data set which has got only five rows. Now, if I want to look at a particular data, if I want to, you know, look at, let's say, for example, product category, which has got specifically two types of categories, electronics, sports, electronics, electronics and sports. Now, if I want to look at the data in such a way that I want all the electronic goods to be in one place followed by sports at another place. So in that case order by helps us a lot. Let's say for example I want to see all my results for the male members at one place together 
and female members together then order by will help me a lot because we are trying to organize because by using order by we are sorting the data in ascending order or descending order so definitely when I'm sorting the data in ascending or descending order the same values will appear together which is really really very helpful specifically when you you know you start visualizing your data from analytics perspective or building any algorithm in data science and all right second splitting the splitting and grouping the data set becomes very easy what does it mean now let's assume that you know at this point of time here we have only five rows but assume that you had thousands of rows and you know in here we have only two product categories and you know you have around 20 different categories like you know electronics sports then any other different category now if you want if you're planning to categorize them or if you're planning to group them that means all the electronics goods if I want to see how the electronic items are doing or how the sports item are doing if you want to group them if you just want to plan the grouping then also order by helps you a lot now note I am not saying that order by is used to group the data but it gives you an idea it gives you a picture it actually gives you a picture how the grouping can be done that is a very very important and a very helpful way finding uh, third point is easy to find relationship between the data points means let's say let's assume that here we have price column all right now the data is not sorted or organized in any way if you look at the data the first value is 25,000 the second value is 50 the third value is 12,000 20,000 and a thousand right now if I try to look at the relationship considering each value to be a point a data point so from first data to second data I will not be able to find any kind of relationship. I, I don't understand. Okay, so from 25,000, it has moved to 150. Suddenly, it increased to 12,000. Then again, 20,000. Then again, 1,000. I am not able to build any relationship. But if I order my data or sort my data in ascending or descending order, it will help me understand the relationship between the data points. That means if the value, let's say, for example, if I sort my data in the ascending order, which is from lower value to higher value, so it will tell you how the value is gradually increasing. So that relationship among the data points is very, very convenient to build that relationship is very much convenient. Fourth point is making graphical representations becomes very easy. So what this is talking about is, let's say, for example, I want to plot a chart, right, about male and female uh, customers, right, against the purchased product, right? So if I sort the data, it really becomes very easy for me to visualize the chart. Sometimes it also helps me in chart selection, right, what kind of graphs or what kind of chart I want to plot, right? So that is why, you know, order by is really, really very helpful now how do we perform this how do we how do we achieve uh, you know order by or sorting the data in SQL so it can be done by using an order by clause which in SQL is used to sort your data in ascending and descending order now this is a syntax of it which is pretty simple use use a select statement to specify the list of columns which you want to see in your final result right from which table you are querying this for from which particular table order by column one expression right so this column is nothing but here we define when we talk about column name one means you want to order in which based on which particular column let's say for example here i want to order my data or sort my data based on gender column or i might be interested in sorting or ordering my table based on price column so this is where you define your column name so based on which column there is also possibility where you can pass your expression for the sorting which I will discuss in later part upcoming videos now here you can sort the data both in ascending and descending order now ascending as I have mentioned is a default option the default option means if the user if you do not provide if you do not tell SQL that in which order you want to sort the data either in ascending or descending order by default SQL will assume that you wanted to organize or sort your data in ascending order but you can also specify ASC uh, but it is not required man. now since we know that this is a default option in general coding you will see nobody specifies ascending because they know that the default option is ascending but if you want to sort the data in descending order that means from higher value to lower value you must use the keyword descending you should also be mindful in 
PostgreSQL, the keyword are ASC for ascending and DESC for descending. So if you're using the full form ascending ASC -E and DING or DESC -E and DING, it will not work. It will throw an error, right? Now let us, whatever we have learned, let us try to, you know, uh, do some practical examples. So let's say, for example, let me pick up these questions and let's try to solve them, right? So <clears throat> these are the questions which we are planning to solve. And let me comment all of them so that we can solve all of it. Now the first question says, please arrange the data in the alphabetical order of the first name of the customers from the customer table. So let's have a look at customer table, select star from customer and let's have a look at the data. Let me execute the query and this is how the data looks like, you see. So the this table has got several columns like customer ID, store ID, first name, last name, email ID, address, active boolean, create date and so on and so forth, right? So this is a database which has been provided by PostgreSQL called as DV Rental. It is a very good database amazing database which has got a lot of tables around 15 tables we have um, a very good for learning it is for beginners to advance you can learn everything using this particular uh, data set in case if you you do not have this or if you want how to be installed please let me know in the comment section i will help you i will create another session where you can upload all this table in your system and you can start working on it right now let's get back to the question so arrange the data in alphabetical order in, of the first name so now you see here the data is not organized based on the first name so the first name is jared mary patricia linda barbara elizabeth so you see j m p now what this says is that you please organize your data organize this data in the alphabetical order of the first name that means it is saying it should either, you, 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 your data should be organized in such a way that all the names starting from A should appear, then B, then C, then D, followed by E, and so on and so forth. Now, how can we achieve this? Let's, let's write a simple query. Select star from customer order by. So if you look at the syntax, what we discussed, select followed by the list of columns which you want to display in your final result. But here I'm using star, a wildcard character, which says all the columns from which particular table, from this customer table, order by, and then I need to specify the, specify the column name. Which column? It is the first name. My bad. First name, right? Now, what will this query do? This query is going to organize the customer table, the entire customer table in a way where the first name is sorted in ascending order in alphabetical manner, right? Means the first name, the first name, uh, the first name would be like, it starts with A. So whatever names, which is going to be starting with A, all of them will appear on the top and the name with Z, it'll appear at the bottom. Now let me, let me execute my query and have a look at it. So you see Aaron, Adam, Address, Agnes. So all these values, you know, you see they are appearing on the top. That means the data is sorted. Now, as we discussed that by default, it is sorting the data in the ascending order by default it is sorting the data in the ascending order but if you want to use a keyword you can use that now we know that the keyword is asc right now if i execute the same query it will still return the same result why because in this case ascending was treated to be as a default option here the only difference is that we are explicitly specifying that we want to sort the data in ascending order and it works without this as well. Now, as I mentioned, you should be mindful about this keyword. It is ASC. If I say ASCENDING ascending, this will definitely throw an error and SQL, C, SQL C say boss, SQL will say, hey, I do not know what ascending means, right? So you must be using AC, which is also denoted by this color scheme, right? Let's go to the next one. So the next question says, hey, can you sort the film table in the descending order of the replacement cost? Let's have a look at the film table, select star from film, right? Now let me ex execute this query and have a look at the data. So let's get into our 
let's look at the replacement cost so this table also has got a lot of columns film ID title description release year blah 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 and there is a replacement cost right now the question says can you please organize this table or sort this table in such a way that the replacement cost is in the descending order means the highest value on the top and the lowest value at the bottom let's try doing it select star from film and then I'll say order by right and then I can say replacement cost right replacement cost now when I execute this query you will see by default the data will be sorted in the ascending order if I look at this you see by default the replacement cost you would see is in the ascending order that means the lowest value is 999 and if I keep scrolling down you see the value keeps increasing 1099 and if I scroll for furthermore you see it is 1199 and so on and so forth that means it is increasing but based on my question I was supposed to sort the data in the descending order means I wanted the highest value of the replacement cost on the top so let me use a keyword descending remember we have discussed that the keyword is DESE not the complete spelling for the descending so let me wrong let me execute this and yes my data is sorted and if you see the highest value for replacement cost is 29.99 now you will notice that the value is in the decreasing order why because we have sorted the data in the descending order so it is 28 27 27 26 and so on and so forth right let's solve another question arrange the category table in the descending order of the name from the cat descending order of the name so let's say select star from category right and let me execute this so it has got name actions children oh this data looks like it has already been organized in the ascending order a b c and so on and so forth but the question says descending order so what is that we are supposed to do we have to use sorry order by descending and now when I exit oops sorry column name is name and then we'll have to say descending right now if I execute this you will see the data has been sorted in the descending order that means T comes on the top s new and it slowly you know um, comes to a right let's do one more question arrange the film table in the descending order of the title so let's look at the film table once again select star from film now if I execute this it will return me the entire you know column now the question says can you please arrange the film table in the descending order of the title so let's say this is a title now suppose I don't want to you know display the entire result let me select few columns let's say I'm picking up film underscore ID comma let the second column be title and let me pick one more column let's say let let me let me pick another column let's say uh, rental duration rental underscore duration assume that you're not interested in looking at the entire table but just these three columns right so I'll say from which particular table it's the film table film and then I'll say order by order by which column title right now if I execute this you will see the entire table is organized within the three columns of title all right so you see a a a followed by it continues going on it will slowly move to B you see and then to C or D whatever the value is right but the question says hey it has to be sorted in the descending order so all you need to do is D E S C and execute the query right now if you see Z appears on the top Zolander fiction appears on the after that followed by W and slowly it will you know boil down to a slowly because it is in the descending order right well after this I have given few assignment questions this is for you to try on there are five questions Please try doing it, you know, or doing it on your own. And in case if you have any questions, please feel free to add them in the comment. I will address your question. All right. Thank you so much for your time and patience. Have a great day ahead.